mtakatifu wa bidhaa yenye madini ya risasi huku ikipendekeza sheria ya kudhibiti bidhaa hizo. Utafiti unaonyesha kuwa madini hayo yana madhara makubwa haswa kwa watoto wadogo na kina mama wajawazito. Mwandishi wetu Emily Chebete anatoa zaidi kuhusu taarifa hiyo. Kwa mujibu wa takwimu kutoka shirika la USAID, mtoto mmoja kati ya wawili wako katika hatari ya kemikali ya risasi huku wengine milioni moja wakifariki kila mwaka. Kemikali hiyo inayopatikana kwenye baadhi ya vyakula, rangi na katika mazingira machafu inaingia mwilini polepole pole, na kusababisha magonjwa na hata kifo. Aisha's children were number last for exams. Like so. Igizo hili fupi linalotolewa na wanafunzi wa chuo kikuu cha Nairobi likitoa taswira kamili ya madhara ya hatari ya kemikali hiyo ambapo mama anampoteza mtoto wake kabla ya kuzaliwa kutokana na hatari ya kemikali hiyo. She had um, there were traces of lead poisoning in her blood. So some of the effects of lead could be miscarriage just like your wife just had. How did lead traces get into Aisha's blood? Could you by any chance be working near an industry of some sort? Yeah, I work at a lead uh, a battery acid industry. Yes, yeah, so if Aisha came into contact with your clothes or either through other methods, but mostly through your clothes when she's washing them, she could get the lead poison in which could cause the miscarriage. Tasura hii ikiweka peupe hali ambayo familia nyingi humu nchini zinapitia pasi na kujua. Kemikali hiyo inasababisha upungufu wa akili na madhara mengine mengi. A study was also done and uh, we found levels of lead was very high within the environment where children are, are playing. This was done in 2016. We also carried out some work and we found levels of lead was very high in soils in various uh, locations in industrial areas. Then it's very common also to find workers eating with the work clothes and this also contaminates even within their food that they are eating. Lead exposure continues to be a silent but deadly global health crisis. Particularly affecting children in low and middle income countries globally as Luigi mentioned, over 800 million children suffer from elevated blood lead levels, leading to cognitive impairment, lower IQ, and irreversible developmental damage. Wiki hii dunia inaadhimisha wiki ya hamasa kuhusu hatari ya kemikali ya risasi haswa ikikumbukwa kuwa madhara yake yanagarimu jumuiya ya mataifa zaidi ya dola trilioni mbili kutibu. Wafanyikazi katika sekta mbalimbali wakitakiwa kutahadhari na kemikali hiyo na kuhakikisha mazingira wanaofanya kazi ni salama. Only small amounts of lead exposure are needed to cause lead poisoning in our children. Absorption being up to five times higher in children compared to adults. Chronic exposure in adults again results in raised blood pressure, gastrointestinal effects, infertility, nerve disorders, muscle aches, joint patients, memory loss. Utafiti uliofanywa mwaka 2016 huko nchini iliyohusisha kampuni 21 za rangi zilionyesha kuwa kampuni 19 zina angalau 